I went on an incredible brand trip with Nivea to Muskoka for a few nights, and of course I vlogged the entire thing, so let's get into it. It was only two nights, but of course I packed a bag the size of my torso. We met at Billy Bishop, hopped on a bus, grabbed all the other girls from across Canada, and we headed on up. Fun fact, I'm actually from Muskoka, it's where I was raised, but my childhood home did not quite look like this. This was the most beautiful cottage I have ever stepped into in my life. This cottage was so bright and fresh, and of course we had a bunch of Nivea goodies waiting for us. To ensure we didn't have a little housewives moment, we drew names of which rooms we'd be in, and there was actually two cottages on site, so I was in cottage number two, and it was just as beautiful. I somehow lucked out and got the master bedroom. I couldn't believe it, but I have a full room tour, a few videos down if you want all the juicy details, but we got an incredible goodie basket, and I mean, look at this view. This is the view of my dreams. This is all I want in life. Not to mention this massive double sink bathroom with all the Nivea goodies and a really nice looking shower. We had a really yummy welcome lunch in cottage number two with some delicious drinks, and my friend Helen was on this trip as well. Helen's also a skincare content creator, so it was so nice catching up with her and just chatting about everything. The grounds looked just as beautiful as the inside, so I knew I had to go for a swim. I put on a bunch of sunscreen, headed down to the dock. We really lucked out with the weather. It was 10 out of 10 perfect, and the lake was so warm. I didn't want to get out, but after a while, I knew I should probably get inside and not bake in the sun all day, so I just put on my sweats. These are from Roots. I love them, and I just chilled for a bit. Then it was time to get ready for dinner. I put on my Abercrombie dress. I've worn this so much this summer, but it's just so cute. And we headed over to cottage number one for a beautiful dinner. And it was prime time for sunset pics. So I posted those over on Instagram if you want to go see. Then we had some hors d'oeuvres. We had a private chef all weekend that handled all the food. We were just so incredibly spoiled and he made us too much food. Like we love to eat, but did you see the size of that pasta bowl? It was crazy. I had to give myself toddler portions because it was just so much. But anyway, I headed to bed very full, very happy. And I woke up to the most beautiful view, a glass lake full moon and the steam was coming off of it which meant that I had to go for a swim that means that the water is warmer than the air so of course I had to go check that out and sure enough it was warmer the loons were calling it was so serene it was definitely one of the highlights of my trip if you can't handle blood look away because I somehow sliced open my foot so I hopped in the shower to clean that all up and I fully embraced the lake care for today then I started to cry because I thought about how lucky I am like I just the gratitude was through the roof I mean look at this breakfast how could I not be grateful and we got a sneak peek of all the exciting launches that are coming to Nivea in 2025. I can't wait to do a review. But anyway, I tried on my Nivea tracksuit and this is so cute. It fit me so well, but I changed into some shorts because we were doing meditation in the sun, which was so lovely. And we also did ear seeding. This is where it like pushes a pressure point with a cute little gem. It's hard to explain, but I've done it twice before and it's really nice. Back to the other cottage and I saw a chef and he was making us wood fired pizza. Like I was getting a little too spoiled at this point, but I went to go check out the sauna, which was so beautiful. And then I had to paddleboard. I had to do something on the water. And can you believe this footage was filmed on my sunglasses? They're the Meta Ray-Bans. I got them for Christmas for my fiance and I've been loving them for things like this. It is so cool and I don't have to bring my phone out. I probably should have jumped in the lake after that because I was hot. So I just chilled for a bit, tried to cool down, and of course I was already getting a pimple from all the sweat, but I tried to cover it up and then I headed over to cottage number one for a second dinner, which was looking just as beautiful. Our chef Andre made us a charcuterie board of my dreams. Here was tonight's dinner menu and taken that these were just the appetizers. Look at how much chicken there is there. He even made us cocktails. We had Aperol spritz. We enjoyed. We had a group photo and then it was on to the mains which were 10 out of 10. I'm gonna have to win the lottery to be able to hire all these people. It was just so much fun. I did a quick outfit change because it was time for Nivea trivia which went so well and then we had a little s'mores party. Well not so little. It was pretty elaborate and it was the perfect end to the night. I was exhausted. Good morning. The view was still looking incredible. I decided to blow dry my hair. No more lake care and we did not leave empty-handed. We got so many goodies and oh my god did I not want to leave. I already felt so possessive over this place but I saw the bus coming so I ran to go hide. I'm just kidding. I went to go get my bags very reluctantly and it turns out we had a party bus. Work! This was such a fun trip and I'm so glad to have met these girls.